We also believe that it's important to be culturally relevant and affirming. And being culturally relevant and, and affirming um, is something where we believe that we have to reach students in terms of their culture, but then affirm them and their culture. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I, I just put my class online. Um, and maybe that means for you that you have recorded lectures that you always use. Or maybe that means that you're simply Zooming, Skyping, or using some other material to deliver your content. But whatever it is, if you're not being intentional about being relevant, then you're being intentional about being irrelevant. Next slide. So a culturally affirming experience entails the following. And this is according to uh, scholars such as Gloria Lads and Billings and some of the work that we've done as well. Uh, educators' ability to connect course content to students' lived experiences, centering students' diversity in every aspect of the teaching, acknowledging and levering, leveraging cultural strengths and assets, and mirroring diverse students in course content perspectives and materials. And we'll provide some examples as to what that actually means. On the next slide, uh, we want to just first begin by noting that it is uh, beneficial for us to be culturally relevant, for us to teach in a way that honors the lives and experiences of the students that we're serving. Why? Because it addresses their unique cultural experiences, but it also values students and helps to grow their self-efficacy, their confidence in their academic abilities, their intrinsic interest, their authentic interest in what they're learning, their sense of belonging, their perceptions of degree utility or the uh, importance of college, and healthy concepts around uh, gender and masculine identity for men. Um, and so we see that being culturally relevant, and this is based upon extensive research, being culturally relevant benefits minoritized students, but it is also something that benefits everyone. It has an intensive benefit for our most minoritized students while also simultaneously benefiting other students. On the next slide, we provide a couple examples as to what that means based upon uh, comments that we've received and, and, and perspectives we received from uh, re uh, student, not students, but faculty who've been part of our research studies. The first one focuses on course text. Uh, one faculty member said, select literature and reading material that are inclusive of students of color. This is important when creating an online environment that will address the needs of all students. Students of color normally find that their voices are absent from the literature. Having multicultural readings validates the experiences of the students. Now, let me say this. You might be saying to yourself, but I, I'm barely getting my class online. I'm barely having the time to just put what I've been doing into a format that students can receive. So I want to first acknowledge that that is a challenge that a lot of people are experiencing right now. But I also want to say that this is a great opportunity for you to do the things that you haven't done before. And if you think that by taking that class and putting it online, that it's going to help reach all of your students if it's a, a class that has not been done historically in a relevant way, then you're probably not um, reaching the students in the way that you need to. Um, we also want to uh, focus on culturally relevant teaching through variable assignments. The quote says, universal design for learning has also been effective. All students in my online course are graded via diverse forms of assessment. Students in my class can submit a PowerPoint, a poem, a written paper, or produce a video demonstrating their learning. This gives students the opportunity to choose how they best demonstrate what they understand and, and learn best, often empowering them to produce knowledge. And again, this is a strategy that's important in general, but maybe even more important right now. If after that initial assessment that we talked about in the Be Intrusive section that you've done, you might learn that students have access to different types of, 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 of platforms, whether it's a computer or a tablet or a phone. So having variableness in the ways that they can use those uh, modalities to, to, uh, to essentially engage in the course content is something that's important. Next slide. Other things that we think are really important is the physical design of the course, right? So course images. So faculty use PowerPoints that will tend to use stock images that only um, have white people. If the subject is not diversity, then default to images of white people. I encourage folks to use multiple race, gender, age, ability images to be inclusive of the subject as opposed to a singular group. Another one said, I think about the images I use in the online environment. 
Being conscious about this is important. The aesthetic of the online environment. It is a welcoming environment for all students, but particularly minoritized students.